the horrible child <laughs> in the Yamuna River before she could deliver Radha to Kamsa. One morning, King Vrishabhanu went to the Yamuna River to take baths. Soon after, he saw a golden lotus flower that shone like a million suns in the middle of the river. In the middle of the lotus flower lay a beautiful baby girl. King Vrishabhanu was so happy to find her and gladly took her home. <laughs> King Vishavana and Kirtida happily welcomed their new daughter and named her Radha. Seeing her beauty, her parents could not control their excitement and repeatedly looked at her moonlike face. Soon the couple noticed that Radha was not opening her eyes. With desperation, they constantly prayed for the eyesight of their child. Narad Muni knew that shortly after the appearance of Sri Krishna, his Shakti would appear in Vraj as well. He was searching for her, and one day he heard that Vrishabhani Maharaj had a new baby girl. He decided to pay him a visit. My dear Narada, thank you for gracing our palace. King King Vrishabhanu offered his baby girl to Narad Muni for blessings. Narad became overwhelmed in ecstasy. His hair stood on end and tears were flowing from his eyes. I have been traveling through universe and I never found such a beautiful baby girl. I am so fortunate. Please, dear Radha, give me darshan of your beautiful Kishori form. Sri <laughs> Radha, being very pleased, appeared before him with all her sakis and told him to meet her in Kusum Sarovara. King Prishabhanu, King Prishabhanu, you are so fortunate to have this beautiful baby girl as a daughter. From now, your only duty is just to take care of her, nothing else. Whatever she is, the goddess of fortune resides. Don't worry about her blindness. Just go ahead and perform all the bird ceremonies. Yes, ma'am. King Vishabhanu made all the arrangements for the birth ceremony of baby Radha. auspicious occasion and brought their little Krishna and Rohini brought little Balaram. When they arrived, Kirtida greeted them with tears in their eyes, in her eyes. Oh, I must have done many good deeds in this and previous lives, for I have given birth to such a beautiful daughter. However, her, she's been, I think she's been born blind. Three days have passed and she has not yet opened her eyes. 
Why God has sent me such a beautiful child and yet deprived her of sight? This is breaking my heart. At that moment, the promise Krishna had made to Radha awoke in him and made him feel very restless. He began squirming <laughs> and struggling, trying to climb down from Yashoda's lap. Finally, he clutched at Mother Yashoda's pearl necklace and broke it. In her moment of inattention, he escaped. Krishna sat on the ground for a moment, pretending to be afraid. Then he suddenly got up and toddled over to the crib that held baby Radha. Then, just as a small child shows affection to another, Krishna lovingly touched her face with his hand. The instant he touched her eyes, she opened them, and according to the desire she had expressed previously, she drank in the nectarian vision of Krishna's face. Kirtida and Yasoda had been talking and had not noticed what Krishna was doing. Suddenly they looked up and saw that Krishna was running his hand over little Radharani's face. Yasoda jumped up. As such, the birth ceremony began. This is the transcendental appearance pastime of Shimanti Radharani. Gaur Pramanande!